Hi everyone, my name is Gerald. So a while ago, I won this pedal commander uh, for my Nissan GTR. I just put it in for a contest and yeah, I won. Yeah, today I'm gonna go ahead and install it just to see exactly what the pedal commander does. But what I'm gonna do is just do various runs, um, you know, kind of like from 30 or 40 miles per hour, just to see how much quicker it gets up to speed and how much quicker um, the boost comes on and so that should be a little bit of fun. So the first thing we need to do is install it um, and so basically you just intercept the cable that goes to your throttle pedal um, and then you just install this in its place and so it's it should be pretty easy so let's get started. Okay so I tried really hard to get that little throttle cable off and it was really difficult. Um, you know, I'm not all that mechanically inclined, so I went to the Pedal Commander's website and I looked exactly where you're supposed to kind of push on it. And so here's kind of like what the, um, what it looks like um, at the throttle, uh, the cable itself. So this basically just matches up and this is where it goes. And so basically what you'll see um, is you have this little um, kind of clip right here and basically what you do is you just take your finger and you could kind of hold it in and then you pull right from that clip upwards and that allows you to get some leverage on it and to pull that thing out. And so um, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Okay, yeah, so here's the uh, cable right here. And so basically, oh, I just push on this, oh God, I just push on this little piece right here and just pull it out. And there we go. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> it's just it's just impossible to try to record and get that get that done. But basically I got the cable off, so it wasn't all that difficult. And so now I'm just going to plug uh, the pedal commander into the existing where it was where that throttle cable was supposed to go, and then I plug the other cable into that one, um, the existing one. So go ahead and do that. All right, everybody, I got, a, I got it installed. Um, pretty relatively easy install. Basically, I just have the wire kind of wrapped um, through there, and um, it's not certainly a permanent installation right now. Um, but yeah, if I decide to keep it and um, actually continue to use it, then I'll make a little bit more of a permanent install. But you might be wondering, you know, what are the benefits of the Pedal Commander versus something like you know, getting your GTR modified and tuned. So first of all, the GTR, it just responds really well to modifications. So uh, doing an intake, doing exhaust, doing downpipes, uh, midpipes, um, and then getting uh, the GTR tuned, especially if you do like flex fuel. I mean, it's just a monster, uh, absolutely is a monster. Um, but some of you might not be wanting to do that. Maybe you don't want to mess around with the ECU. Uh, you want to keep your GTR relatively stock, but maybe you want a little better performance. Well, that's where this pedal commander comes in because it doesn't modify the GTR at all. It just basically intercepts um, the throttle response. So um, basically it tells the computer to respond quickly, more quickly to your throttle input. And yeah, some people really like it. It makes a difference on, on a lot of vehicles. Um, question is, is it going to make a difference on a GTR? Um, certainly it's not going to compete and it's not going to give you any more horsepower, but it might make the vehicle a little more fun. You know, the GTR has a little bit of turbo lag um, and maybe there's a little bit of a delay in throttle response. And so perhaps this might actually, you know, help a little bit. We'll find out today um, or at least, you know, get my kind of seat of the pant gut feelings on it. So basically, um, I've got it installed. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the GTR on. And you see it kind of flashes lights there. And um, right now it's currently off. So as soon as I hit the button, the little yellow button, star button here, um, it defaults for the city mode. So you've got uh, echo mode, which really reduces the throttle response. So maybe you wanna save gas. Um, then you have your sport mode, um, which is the second most aggressive mode. Um, then you have your sport plus mode, which is the, the most aggressive. And then within each of those modes, you have a plus one, a plus two, a plus three, and a plus four. And so you can play around with those settings to see which one that you really like and which one feels comfortable to you. 
Um, but I'm going to start off with in stock and um, just do a little bit of driving around. And then I'm going to um, start off with city and then sport and then sport plus. I'm going to go ahead and keep it on the plus one. And I'm going to see if I, you know, if there's any sort of really big seat of the pants uh, differences. And then finally, instead of just a seat of the pants differences, I'll go ahead and record uh, my speedometer and also my boost. And we'll just do kind of a run from like 20 miles, 25 miles per hour, and I'll go full throttle. And we'll see, you know, if there's a difference. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're starting off. Um, I've got the pedal commander installed. Um, I didn't have any sort of um, strange warning lights or anything like that. It's like the car is running normally. And yeah, I'm doing 20 miles an hour. It's in fourth gear. So this is just kind of what the GTR does. Um, you know, there's some folks that do some uh, TCM tuning um, that can make the throttle or make the transmission shift a little bit differently. And um, yeah, it's something something I'd really like to have had done on this car. So yeah, feels uh, totally, totally normal. And I think you're gonna be able to see that I'm able to see the boost as well as um, the speedometer. So hopefully uh, you can see that. So yeah, right now I'm in sixth gear. Let's see, I'm going 35 miles an hour. I'll hit the throttle. And you can kind of see how how long that took to go um, 30 miles an hour, how quickly it got um, to third gear. Um, so it took a little bit of while in order to do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on to, um, to the city mode. So let's see what that feels like, if I feel any difference at all. Whoa, oh, jeez. Yeah, so that actually, that's a, it's already a little touchy. Um, wow, I didn't really expect that just going to city. Um, certainly felt, um, actually the felt's kind of, the, the shifts kind of felt a little quicker. Um, you know, I was really lazy on the throttle, but yet it just reacted so much, so much different differently. I'm going to change it this time into sport mode. So I'll switch it to sport. So what's, what's kind of interesting is when I'm in, now I'm in sport mode, as soon as I just have just any sort of throttle, it automatically downshifts. Whereas in the past, it just seemed to take a little bit longer to do that downshift. Um, Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, it just kind of, um, it just wants to downshift um, a lot quicker, which I kind of like. It's kind of like I almost did a transmission, a, a kind of a TCM tune with actually, um, without actually doing a TCM tune. You know, that's one of the things, you know, it's a great transmission, but um, it just takes sometimes a little bit longer to shift than what you would like. It's, I like it. So um, this, is, this is pretty good. I, I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm going to turn around and um, before we were at 30, uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to actually put this in the Sport Plus mode. So let me switch it to Sport Plus. I'm going to feel that real quick and go to plus one. Okay, there we go. So this is the last setting. Oh, wow. That might be a little touchy actually because it seems like as soon as I kind of touch the accelerator at all it it wants to downshift um, I'll see what it feels like from a stop but that might be just a little bit too aggressive for me let's see what happens from a start although I could probably get used to it <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's interesting. All right, so I'm gonna do what I said. I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn around here. And what I'm going to do is basically, you know, kind of just be cruising around at 30 miles an hour, if that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> you 
it's a lot harder to cruise at 30 miles an hour. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Get it down to 30. And then I'm going to hit it. Okay, there we go. 30 miles an hour and hit it. Yeah, I did, yeah, I didn't like that all that much. Hmm. It took a long time to figure out what to do. Yeah, it seemed like the car was really confused. 30. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if I like that one very much. I'm gonna switch back to sport. Um, it's really strange because on the stock tune, if I'm going 30 miles an hour, I have some um, throttle. Um, I have my foot on the accelerator, but I literally cannot go 30 miles an hour on the Sport Plus and have my foot on the throttle at all. It just, it just won't do it. So I basically either have to brake or just wait for it to get down to 30 because it just doesn't want to go there. And then when it finally does get to 30, then I can hit the accelerator, but it's just, it's just at that point, it's so confused. So yeah, I'm gonna switch over just to sport mode, just to see what that looks like. Okay, so I do have my foot on the throttle a little bit, so at least I'm giving it something, but still not really. Yeah, I don't know if I'm feeling this, okay. So let me turn it off, totally. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a little bit more, it still takes a while, but it's, I think it's a little more composed and, and knowing what it's supposed to be doing. I thought I was gonna like it, um, but I kind of sort of don't. Maybe it does better with something like going 40 miles an hour and hitting it as opposed to 30 miles an hour. Um, Let's, let's look at that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and um, we're going 40 miles an hour now, so instead of 30 miles an hour. And right now, um, I have the pedal commander off. And then let's go ahead and uh, floor it and see uh, what kind of response we get. Okay, so not bad, but it, it's accelerated right away. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the pedal commander. And I'm gonna put it on the sport um, plus one mode. And hit the throttle. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there was all that much of a really much of a difference. One more time. So we go to 40 miles an hour, hit it. Maybe slight. In this footage, I'm comparing the acceleration and boost with the pedal commander off versus sport mode. I've slowed down the footage quite a bit, but it's pretty clear that the GTR accelerates quicker and gets to boost quicker with the pedal commander off versus having the pedal commander on. Perhaps on partial throttle, you will see a difference in performance on a GTR, but when you go full throttle, you will see no performance gain and, in fact, Will lose performance using the pedal commander. I really can't say that there is all that really much of an improvement. Maybe kind of just on, you know, kind of day to day driving. Like right there, I do feel quite a bit of a difference when I'm just kind of accelerating. Um, but if I'm just going strictly from 40 miles an hour and flooring it, um, I don't feel that much of a difference. I think in general, if you're just kind of driving around town, um, I think you are gonna feel some differences in the throttle response. Um, so it'll tend to be a little bit more aggressive um, and it'll feel maybe a little bit more sporty. Um, but I think from the perspective of if it's just going like 40 or 30 miles an hour and you floor it, 
Um, for me, I don't feel all that much of a difference. In fact, um, I felt like some at some at some times it was actually a little bit confused on what it was supposed to be doing. So, yeah, I don't know. It's probably something I would have to um, play around with a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to give it a total glowing review. Um, I think it's okay. I think it's something that you could try. Um, but yeah, that's just my perspective. So um, thank you so much. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. And so that's it for this review. Okay, bye. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago.